everyone, it's Tammy and it's time to do our plan with me. We are going to be planning the week of August 8th through 14th. So we have school starting on the 10th and Granny's birthday on the 14th. I'm also going to look at my list of things on the side to see if I've done anything. Car for Alex, we are a little bit talking about that. Car for me, I haven't started looking. Clean the spare room, I have not started. Start wrapping, I have started that. And college mail, I have gotten started getting that ready. So I have started at least one, two, three of the one, two, three, four, five things that I have that I know I need to do this month. So that's not bad for the first week. So I'm going to give myself some slack on that, especially since it's been kind of a crazy week at work. Oh my goodness. So this is this week with the pretty summer theme. Now we are going to be doing the week of August 8th through 14th, as I have already said. And we are going to do a cherry theme. I have these really, really, really cute cherries from Sugar Sugary Gal Shop. I just loved them, and I thought, ooh, I'm going to use these for sure. I wanted to do it. Um, the only thing I have, I wish that these were a little lighter, like these half boxes are in the middle, because they're kind of hard to write in. So I also printed off some other freebies. These are from Planner Addiction. I don't know how much better some of these are. Like This isn't going to be any better, but I thought that they were really cute. So hopefully I'll have enough of the lighter ones to put at least in some of the day so that I can you know, figure this out. So there, this is from Planner Addiction. I wanted to make sure I gave credit to these. These are free. www.planneraddiction.com you can go there and print them out yourself. And then these are from Gypsy Road, Gypsy Rose, Gypsy Road, something like that on Etsy. And I've had these for many moons. Oh, and it looks like, I thought these were individual stickers. It looks like that's one row of stickers and this is a second row of stickers. So luckily they should fit in my planner right there and right there and it looks like it will. So. Um, I don't even remember what these mean anymore. I'm sure that's plum paper, and this is probably plum paper family, plum paper, I don't know. So I don't even know. I just know, I just remember this symbol being Gypsy Rose. I haven't purchased anything from them for a while, and to be quite honest, they are a little bit pricey, which is the reason I haven't really purchased anything. So because these are just one big thing, I think I might put those down first. But I also got out these cute washies to use. I have this cute cherry washi but with the black with the blue background I'm not sure this is my fave with this spread but I thought these were really cute together with this kind of a spread so we'll see how it works out and then I also have the polka dotted red and the sparkly red so I can do this way if I want to between anything we'll figure it out so I think the first thing I'm going to do is lay these um, aprons down as a meal planner and it's funny because I got an apron just today in the mail. I um, am going to post a picture of Insta. Actually, I've already posted a picture on Instagram, I believe. So if you are following me there, you have seen it. And it has hedgehogs on it, of course. It's adorable. I found it on Groupon, if you guys are familiar with that. Um, it's a place where you can get things at a discounted price. They buy a bunch in a group, and then they can sell them to you as though you're using some sort of coupon, which is where they got the Groupon, or I guess I should say coupon. I don't know. I say that funny, I think. So, what whatevs. And I don't know. I'm kind of thinking I like this cherry with the blue. I'm going to go for it. Oh, goodness. If it comes off. Come on now. Actually, I just got an idea, and I don't usually ever do this. Well, I get ideas sometimes. I don't ever usually stack my washi. But I think I might. Ooh, this is some weird washi. Can you hear that? Isn't that bizarre? I'm going to start it over here a little bit. It smells so good in here. I'm burning a 
cake, some sort of cake scented candle. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but man, oh man, does it smell good. The only problem with it is it's the disappointing kind. You're like, oh, I wish I had some dessert. We just had hamburgers and corn on the cob, yum o, -oh, and pasta salad for dinner. My husband works with somebody who must have a garden or something with a ton of corn because he brings in corn a lot. And so Dennis is able to get it. Um, and so he brings it home and it's delicious. He ate three uh, things of corn himself tonight. Okay, I'm going to do one more thing. I've decided three things of corn. That's not three cobs of corn. And my son had school registration today, so he's a junior in high school, upperclassman. Crazy. It's all about to start again. And my daughter's getting ready to go away to college. I will miss hearing her something fierce, I am sure. She kind of got on my nerves yesterday, though, to be quite frank. I haven't talked to her about it yet, but I'm going to. I need to collect myself and my thoughts. Kids these days, man. That's all I got to say about that. I'm sure it's not just these days. I'm sure I was probably the same way. grow up and kind of think you know what you're doing. Oh yes, look at that. That's kind of cute. I don't know that I have ever done that, but the aprons kind of gave me the feel to do a little more decorating. So the apron that I got today is super cute, I think. And it was a good deal. It came with um, hot mitts and hot pads and um, kitchen towels two of each and the apron and I think it was $23.99 or $24 I think that and that included shipping so that was a pretty good deal I mean heck just kitchen towels can be seven or eight dollars a piece sometimes now I wouldn't pay that myself but I know that's what they ask for sometimes even the really cute ones, I'm like, no, I'm not spending that much. You've got to be crazy. I don't know if you guys saw my jams. He's so cute. Now he's up on the perch. I didn't even act like I saw him. I'm sorry, Jimbo. You know mama loves you. I'm going to have a drink of my pop. I haven't even opened it yet. Oh, that's a nice sound. I love me some pop. I was drinking tea. Well, I had a pop at lunch. But then I had tea. And I got home from work and then for dinner. And so now I'm having a pop again. It's almost nine. I usually go to bed actually pretty early. Usually by about 10 is when I go upstairs. Um, sometimes I'll go straight to bed that time. Sometimes I'll read, sometimes I'll watch some TV, but I get up at five usually. And I'm usually at work around 6.30. Today I didn't get to work until about seven. But I'm blaming my husband on that. So there, because his um, brother and him usually go to work together. 
and his brother came over to pick up Dennis today and um because they we live in between where his brother lives and work so Dennis usually gets picked up from Mike so um Mike came today and we were chatting so I got to talking with him and I was later than usual do you guys hear that I think that's the water I think my husband is doing something out there with the hose it's like right outside this wall of the house who that kind of scared me at first but I didn't scream yay <laughs> I like how this glitter scotch tape, and it's a scotch brand washi tape, is I can use my cutter, aka my gift card. That's really cute. And I think what I'm going to do, I'd like to go this over the top because I can still see the green and I don't really want to see the green. So I think what I'm going to do is put the red here with the smaller one because I don't want to cover up the day. Now watch, I don't think these tear as well. It didn't, I mean I could tear it, but it didn't tear as well. I like the other, I like this one, it's sparklier. So you know what I might do? I think I'm just going to take this and cut it in half. Because for this layout, I think I like the sparklier better. I don't know where my cutter is. There it is. So, I guess I'll just take that off. this down cute already. I'm liking that. I'm just trying to uncover as much as the green as I can, or try to uncover, try to cover up as much as the green as I can. Now, I also want to separate the weekend, so I will use this strip. Oops. Do that. Oops. Okay, I think this is really cute. It kind of reminds me of the 50s. I guess it's the aprons. 
So I'm going to go ahead and stick the weekend sticker down, which is oh too cute. And you know what? Before I stick that down, I think I'm going to put a little more of the polka dot down at the bottom so that it'll shine through underneath the weekend. So I'll have the red above it and the polka dots below it. Maybe not that far. That should do it. Yay! That's so cute! Keep calm and eat cherries. I'm going to put that down here at the bottom of Monday. And I'll just kind of put these in different spots because these are all pretty dark I don't know that I'll be able to write on any of these so I'm just gonna try to put them in places where I can also then add something that I can write this looks yummy this cherry lemonade So I'm just decorating it up. And again, these are from Sugary Gal Shop on Etsy. Super cute, super cute, super cute. Goodness, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time putting this one down. There we go. These are just adorable. I wish I'd bought in two packs, though, of these half boxes and just a whole page of half boxes without all this extra. Just a, two pages of this would be awesome. So work has been crazy this week. Just lots of little things, just busy and crazy and some people not cooperating. I've had to get upset this week. That's no good for anybody. Even with all that, I still enjoy my work. So I can't complain too much, can I? One thing that's weird to me is that these hearts never match up with the lines. And I know that these are made for Erin Condren, but I kind of wonder if the Erin Condren is that small too. You know what? Maybe they match up with these lines. <laughs> I never pay attention. Let's see. Do they? Heart, heart. No, they don't even match up with those lines. Crazy. 
wonder if I just put these down, if I would like that or if I would hate that. Let's see. I am usually a no white space gal. But crazier things have happened, haven't they? I was going to fill up this with these, but I'm kind of glad I didn't know. I seriously might just leave it with all this white space. That would be weird. But. I may do it. I'll have to see. I like the cherries and I like how it's looking, so I'm kind of thinking I don't want to ruin that by adding too much other stuff. Oh, I thought I left them. Oh, I did right here. I'll put today there. Okay, so update on my sister-in-law. Sorry, I'm like not talking. I'm just spacing out, watching, seeing what I'm going to do here. My sister-in-law is doing a whole, whole, whole lot better. She had her surgery last week. Thank you very much for those of you that um, kept her in your prayers or thought something nice about her or just even thought about her at all um, or me. So thank you very, very much for all of that. Um, they believe that they got all of the cancer. She will know, I don't think until next week, whether or not... She has to have radiation or chemo. They they may decide that she only needs one, or they may decide that she doesn't need any. So the options are all still there, depending on what they find and how much they remove. Now, she is sore still, and if you want to keep her in her prayers, I'm sure that that would be welcoming because she is still in a ton of pain. But um, she is doing all right, way better. And she's still not able to eat very much, if at all. Uh, yesterday, I know for dinner, she had like three French fries. Today for dinner, she was asking me what we were having and I told her and she was like, oh, that sounds so good, but I know I couldn't eat it. So I don't, I don't, I never did ask her what she did eat. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate all of your kindness. She is doing so much better and... She's kicking cancer's boot hay. And I couldn't be more proud of her. I'm going to say Dennis and I are going to go on a date on Saturday. That's a good idea, don't you think? And isn't that cute? Like peanut butter and jelly. We'd go together like peanut butter and jelly. Monday is always a good day to get coffee, and so is Friday. And that means that tomorrow I can get some coffee. <laughs> uh, let's see. Gas. I know we got gas yesterday. Goodness. So we'll probably need some at the beginning of the week. I'll put one here. And some television. I don't know. I guess I'll put it here. I appreciate you guys um, telling me a few things that might be good on... Netflix, I, 
Tanya, you told me about blue bloods and it didn't ring a bell to me and I thought, okay, yeah, that sounds great. And then what did I know? <laughs> I went to go watch it. I've already seen it and I loved it. It was a really good series. I thought it was kind of weird, especially some of it was really weird, but all in all, I thought it was good and it was funny that it was recommended and I didn't even realize that I'd already watched the darn thing. This one is the laundry, so I will put that. Uh, where do I want to put my chores? This one is the dishwasher. I'll put that one over here. I cleaned so I get a little ribbon. Yay! I have this cute little lush bath bomb or bubble bar or whatever it is in a bathtub. So I'm going to put that on Friday. I took a bath last night even. It was a very nice happy mail. I know I need to be doing some mailing sometime. I'll put that there. Isn't he cute? I made it him. Oh, this would be a good one. Get things done. I think I might put that here. Instagram I'm going to put on Thursday. I just now thought, did I put the weekends in the right spot? And I looked and I did. <laughs> Thank goodness. If you guys saw last week, you know that it took me forever to realize that I had the weekend in the wrong. I had it on Tuesday and Wednesday. <laughs> my social media bar so I won't forget to post my video different places and I need to get my eyebrows done seriously this is crazy so I'll put that there and I don't even remember what the lipstick is for but it's cute so I'll put that there what is the lipstick for I know I use it for Etsy no I don't for Ipsy but that came out on the first so I don't know I'm sure there's some other thing I should use it for Oh no, I was afraid that this wouldn't stick to the glitter. And my nails. Ooh, they need to be done now, but don't look. So this is the end of the week. I don't know when I'll do my nails. I think I'll put it down here for Tuesday. It'll be one of those days. And then these pops were just really cute. I thought they went well with the whole cherry thing. I don't know why because I like cherry pops I guess. So yeah. Hmm. I think I might. I don't know. I'll put it here. Yeah that's a good spot. Okay so then oh I also have my Snoopy banner. Wow. I was going to put him down because he was red. Oh good. Ooh, he's taller than the rest. Well, let's see what we can do about that. Oh, Snoop Dog. You sly dog, you. <laughs> Isn't that what Peppermint Patty says? Super cute. There we go. And then I was going to look through my little things and see what else I can use. change don't really need that weekend banner I like some of these I might use well in the 19 the 14th is Dennis's grandma's birthday so I'll put a little cupcake there which 
which you really can't even see, so I will make sure I can see that. And this says Trash Day. It's just really cute, so I'm going to put that on Tuesday to Wednesday. Or it says Garbage Day. I already did a Laundry Day. I should do a vacuum. And since I have one here, if I can get it off. These are really cute stickers. Goodness me, excuse me. This is a little birthday present, so I think I'll put the birthday present down first and then cover it mostly with the cupcake like that. I didn't put a plan with me sticker down, did I? This one will do the trick. And Facebook sticker. YouTube sticker. I wonder if I have one that says school starts or something. I think I might make this one say it. Say it, say it. <laughs> it didn't say it. Lazy day, those sound good, but I don't know that I'm going to have one this week. With all of Katie's stuff going on with college and getting her ready, the lazy days are fewer at the moment. Weekend stickers, I don't need those. I don't know that I'm going to put a farmer's market on. I haven't been yet, so why start thinking about it now? I'm going to put a shot down for my husband. And I think I need a refill on my medicine, so I should put one of those stickers down. that over here. Bump, bump, ba -dump, bump, ba -dump, bump, bump. And planner sticker, I already have one. And it's not payday, so that's it for that. And then I have my Snoopy in the form of this. see here weather stickers movie stickers cleaning stickers the cute little pusheen stickers well, that's it okay well I guess that means I'm done with all that mess then I can just go ahead and write stuff in here I need to write that it's Granny's birthday. I'm gonna try to highlight this a little bit. Ooh, my eyes just went a little blurry. Goodness.
I don't even know how old she is. And this night we have our call with my downline. And I do not like how that is sticking up. So. We shall stick it down with some extra fine glue tip. Okay, so last week I was waiting for my pressure cooker and I received it. I got it last Friday. I've used it twice so far and I love it. It's so nice. I would highly recommend it. It's the Instant Pot. Mine has Bluetooth, but I really am not sure how to use that yet. There's some recipes built in that you can just like hit start and it'll just take on the recipe. But there's most of the recipes on it are not something that I would try. So I've tried to add my own recipe. <sighs> and I did it, but I'm just not sure that it would start the timer when it's supposed or start the pressure when it was supposed to and end it when it's supposed to because mine looks a little different from the others. So I need to figure out exactly how to do that. But I made stuffed pork chops, which were um, on my uh, Foodie Friday this last week. They were marvelous. And then I made some just pasta, random pasta kind of a dish, just because I had some leftover stuff and I wanted to use it. So I thought, well, what a better time. So I did that. And the new catalog is out for the Occasions catalog for Stampin' Up! It came out today for demonstrators, and then it will be available for all of you guys on September 1st. And it has some cute stuff. Just saying. So you'll be able to see some of my new demonstrations with those here shortly. Um, what else? I think that's all I know right now. Oh, I need to put school starts. I'm sure he's not happy about that, but that's what you gotta do, what you gotta do, what you gotta do. It's still not sticking down even with that glue. I'm gonna have to hold it. Well, really, I think that's it for now. I know that there's going to be more. I always fill up the pages once it goes along. Um, one of my friends is getting married in February, and I'm going to help her plan her wedding. So that's always fun and exciting. So I'm sure I'll have to do some things for that. I have my own like agenda book for that as well, but um, I'll put down highlights in here anyway. And... Katie will be home starting this day. I guess I should write that in too. Actually, she might be home starting. Actually, I think she'll be home the weekend, so I think she will have already been here. But she is working this week. Um, she has this week, she starts school on, well, she moves in on the 26th. So she still has three weeks, including this week. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you guys have a great day and happy planning. Bye-bye.